hello students hope you all are fine students in this video will continue our chapter number 3 exercise 3.4 students this exercise is again very simple because few topic already we have completed in our exercise 3.1 so let's start our introduction part for our exercise 3.4 as we used to do before the exercise questions yes so let's start and this uh, exercise students will deal three terms means the exercise question based on three terms only the first term is what are vectors second term what are multiple and the third term is what are co prime numbers fine so the first two terms already we have discussed in our exercise 3.1 and we have done the equation also related to that. So these terms I am not going to discuss again. So the third term we have what are co-prime numbers. So the co-prime numbers when we will take two numbers and we will take out the factors of these two numbers and we have only one as a common factor that numbers are called co-prime numbers fine for example i am taking 6 and 35 we will take out 6 factor 1 2 3 and 6 and 35 factors 1 5 7 and 35 see student in these two terms one is a common in between yes so it means 6 and 35 are the co-prime numbers so here one thing you just remind it it's just a shortcut only ki all the prime numbers are the pair of co-prime number for example 3 and 5 5 and 7 11 and 13 19 and 23 find all the prime numbers all the prime numbers they are also called a co-prime numbers got it students and rest whenever the question will be asking to you related to co-prime numbers so first you will take out all the factors related to that and then see one has a common in between them or not if yes then they are the pair of co-prime number if not then they are not and yes students only one should be there as a common not more than one okay means fine students so let's start our exercise questions only these are very simple Question number one, we have find the common factors of four parts we have over here and few parts I will do and rest of the part which term I will not do that will be homework for you as we used to do in every video and every exercise. So this is not a thing to repeat again and again. This is understood only which part I will do over here that also you have to solve and the rest part will be homework for you that you have to solve by yourself. So the four parts, the first part we have 20 and 28 so common factors we have to find out common do you know that in that numbers that number which will come in both the numbers like in 20 also and in 28 also got it so for that first of all we'll take out the factors factors for 20 is 1 into 20 2 into 10 and 4 into 5 either you can do in this manner or directly you can do like in exercise 3.1 we have done so like in continue manner only you can write 1 2 4 5 10 and 20 as per your choice only you can solve okay but would we just take out the factors for 20 and likewise we will take out the factors for 28 1 into 28 is a 28 2 into 14 and 4 into 7 so after that no so factors of 20 we will write at the last and factors of 28 so earlier we have done till here only the equations but now the question is common factors we will take out okay so see in 20 and 28 one is a common factor fine 2 is also a common factor common means 2 is coming in 20 also 2 is come coming in 28 also fine in both the numbers 2 is there and 4 also and after that yes no other numbers are there so these are the common factors very simple students you just take out the factors first of all which is we already done and then we just take out the common which coming in all the two numbers all the three numbers as per the given question understood students B part we have 15 and 25 factors of 15 is equals to 
so here I'm going to do directly only okay 1 3 5 and 15 are the factors of 15 factor of 25 1 5 and 25 so common factors are coming out 1 and 5 only so that's it so this is all about your B part so very simple so rest of the part you will do by your own student Question number two, we have find the common factors. Again, the same question. So this will be also homework for you. You will do by your own. What you have to do in this question, students? Three part, three numbers we have. Okay. So first we will take out all the factors for three, like for four, for eight, and for twelve. And then after that, common factors. Common factors. Mm -hmm. That number should be come in all the three. If any number which present in two numbers you can say like 8 or 12 may is present but in 4 it is not present so that will not be common fine we have three numbers so that particular number should be that particular factor should be common with all three given numbers question number three we have find the first three common multiples of a part 6 and 8 students multiples as we have done in the introduction part of exercise 3.1 in the properties of factors and multiples so what about that property factors cannot be more than a given number for example 6 if we'll take out factors for 6 so it should be less or equals to 6 only not more than 6 but multiples can be more or you can say infinite yes students 6 multiples we know till 60 like 6 tens are 60 but we will take out more than 60 also multiple because if we we'll add plus 6 plus 6 into a given number that will be also a multiple of 6 only like 6 11s are 66 6 12s are 72 so in such a manner you can say we can take out till any number infinite number the multiple of 6 so just take out now the multiples multiple for 6 will be so as per your choice only we will take out till any number okay so suppose I'm going to take out 6 6 to 12 18 24 30 36 42 48 so now I'm going to take out the multiples of 8 8 16 24 32 40 48 56 64 so now I am saying the common multiples. If we take out the common multiples, see 24 is common in both the numbers and then 48 is common and then nothing. Now it means we will do more multi take out the more multiples for 6 as well as for 8. So till where we have to take out the multiple this we are not knowing only. So students and this is quite a lengthy also if they are not coming out the common then we will do it with 12 with 13 with 14 with 15 so up to so on till we are not getting the common multiple yes but one shortcut i'm going uh, going to tell you over here so listen carefully whenever you will get the first common multiple okay first common multiple means if you are see here we got 24 as a common and it is a first multiple no as a common so you just take this number only like 24 is a common multiple now multiply with 2 24 okay 24 2 is a 48 now the third multiple we want so we will multiply 24 into 3 that is 72 only so it means these are the three common multiples for 6 and 8 this is only the shortcut uh, as as soon as we are getting the first multiple we just do then 2 3 4 5 multiply with the given number to get the more common multiples got students so this is the shortcut method only with this easily you can do you can find out till any number common multiple for a given number understood students now question number four we have write all the numbers less than 100 which are common multiples of 3 and 4 the same type of question in last question number 3 we have done but here the condition is we have to take out the common multiples not 3 not 4 means till the number less than 100 only 
so the student shortcut method i told you the first common multiple you just take out and then you just do the yes tables of that given number till the required condition we are not getting so let's start the solution first of all we'll take out the multiple of 3 so 3 6 9 12 15 multiple of 4 4 8 12 16 20 students see we got the first common multiple yes which one 12 okay so 12 is the first common multiple we got now you just do the 12 ones are 12 then 12 twos are 24 3 are 36 48 60 72 84 and 96 12 nines are 108 now it, the 108 is more than 100 so we got all the common multiples less than 100 so these are the common multiples of 3 and 4 less than 100 god student this is the very simplest method now question number 5 we have which of the following numbers are co prime we have to find out the the among these all the numbers means five parts we six parts we have among all these numbers what pair which numbers are called co prime so what are co prime one as a common factor only of a given numbers yes so we just see one by one 18 and 35 we will take out first factors of both the numbers like factors of 18 1 2 3 6 9 18 factors of 35 1 5 7 and 35 see here is 1 as a common factor and after that no common factor is there it means 1 as a common factor we got in 18 and 35 so 18 and 35 has 1 as a common factor so they are co prime numbers now b part we have 15 and 37 in the same manner first of all factors of 15 1 3 5 15 factors of 37 1 and 37 only so common factors only one we got so it means 15 and 37 has one as a common factor so they are co prime numbers <clears throat> c part we have 30 and 415 so factors of 30 1 2 3 5 6 10 15 and 30 and factors of 4, 415 you just tried over there the properties we have done divisibility test you can do this also over here okay so factors of 1415 is 1583 and 415 now the common factor c one is a common factor and after that yes five is also now here is more than one common factor are there so this is this pair is not Co prime numbers. How we write? We write 30 and 30 and 415 has their common factor is more than 1, so they are not co prime numbers. So, good students, rest of the part you will do like this in this man same manner only. Question number 6 We have a number is divisible by both 5 and 12. By which other number will that number be always divisible? Student, first of all, understand the question that what exactly in the question is one number you are having which is divisible by both with 5 and with 12. Suppose x is a number that x is divisible by 5 as well as with 12. Okay, then that x is number we have to find out that how many other number is divisible by x okay fine and that x we have to find out and how we have to find out that x simply will multiply 5 into 12 5 12 is a 60 it means 60 is a number that will be divisible by 5 as well as with 12 okay and now 60 60 k uh, how many other number are there with whom this 60 will be divisible but we'll do we'll take out the factors of 60 yes factors of 60 we will take out so factors of 60 are 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 12 15 20 30 and 60 
it means these are the numbers rest of the numbers which are also be divisible by 60 because factors means that 60 will be completely divisible by this number got students now students you will think that why we have uh, take out the product of 5 and 12 yes what means why we have done 5 into 12 which is equal to 60 because students this is only the method to take out the uh, number okay uh, with the help of one example i'm going to tell you suppose we have 1 5 4 2 this number okay so now this number is going to divisible by 2 because the last number is even and this number is also divisible by 3 see 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 4 10 and 10 plus 2 12 it means this number is divisible by 2 as well as with 3 okay and with other number is divisible by 6 as well because 2 into 3 6 like this also we can do or if the number is going to be 2 as well as be 3 that number definitely will go with 6 this is a divisibility rule but if we don't know then we just have to simply multiply 2 into 3 6 that 5 into 12 60 so that number we got and after that other number also we have to find out we turn we have done with the factors means others number jo, jo factors on uske wahi number will be divisible by a given number God, I hope students you got this method. Now question number 7 we have a number is divisible by 12. By what other numbers will that number be divisible? Same question like earlier we have done question number 6. A number is divisible by 12. Here we have but in last question we have uh, a number is divisible by 5 and 12. Two numbers were given here. Only one number is given so that so what so you just tell to again suppose x is there which is divisible by 12 we have to find out what are the others number with whom this x will be divisible simply how we find out if 12 is completely divisible by x so what are the factors of 12 that also will be divisible by x yes students so you just take out to you just need to take out the factors of 12 so factors of 12 are 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 and 12 so therefore 1 2 3 4 6 are the numbers other than 12 by which this number will also be divisible good students i hope you understood this question so this is all about our exercise 3.4 i hope you all understood this topic students and uh, all the questions you have to do, note down in your notebooks the solved question also and as well as unsolved question which i have mentioned as a homework in your video that also you have to do and if you have feel any difficulty you can ask me anytime so till then stay home stay safe and do well study thank you